Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen in Alpha 3.6.2 In this video I'm saying goodbye to my Aurora MR by racing it I'm going to be upgrading it to a Mustang Alpha initially and then going on to a 300i and I'll explain that in a little bit. This was the ship that came with the game package I got initially for 45 bucks which included both Star Citizen and, and Squadron 42 and so this is the racing mode in Arena Commander. Uh, if you've seen my other videos in Star Citizen, you'll probably have seen this before. So I'm not in the Persistent Universe, uh, though I expect that once I... I actually have already got upgraded it now that uh, after making this video. And I'll be testing the Mustang Alpha in the Persistent Universe in probably in my next video. Uh, I wanted to... Whoop, ooh. I wanted to get some sort of... Uh, baseline for how the Aurora handles and so I can compare it to the Mustang Alpha and certainly getting a lap time, a clean lap time hopefully, uh, on this course uh, would be a good way of doing it. Uh, so for those unfamiliar with Star Citizen, there's the Persistent Universe where things happen, you make trades, you run missions and all that business. And then there's this Arena Commander mode where you can race and shoot things uh, sort of in a sort of a 15 minute blocks kind of thing though you could put an asterisk on that uh, right now I'm just doing a single player uh, try a training sort of race but in theory you can race against other people though so far I haven't seen too many other people in arena commander recently it used to be that it was much more populated but I guess people are more tired of it I don't know so uh, this time I managed a clean lap here after a few tries. I haven't really been practicing my racing skills to be honest and this isn't a racing ship. Uh, one of the reasons why I want to upgrade it is because it's not really particularly good for anything. Uh, but I'm not in a rush to upgrade it for obvious reasons. I mean, uh, for those wondering when Star Citizen is going to come out, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll take my time upgrading my ships, thank you very much. By, by upgrade, I mean uh, additional money. Uh, basically, the upgrade to the Mustang Alpha is just five bucks. And so I'm basically gonna do five buck increments, maybe five bucks every month or two. So I'm not in any rush. But I've gotten enough enjoyment to decide to give a little bit of extra money. So I've actually already gotten another ship. This is the Merlin. It's uh, more of a racing ship, but it's not really good for anything in the Persistent Universe. Uh, it doesn't have any cargo space. It can't do quantum travel, so it can't go to other moons or planets or anything. So, yeah. But it looks good. That's its plus side. It really does look good. <laughs> I, I haven't really gotten used to flying it uh, or racing with it, though. So... My ability to try and make a lap in it is rough. I think this time at least I got a clean lap, but there were a lot of explosions. Sorry about not including all of those. So yeah, I'll work my way up slowly from the Mustang Alpha to the 300i going in basically $5 increments. So they have this pledge thing. You can, once they finally release the game, you'll be able to get all these ships by just working your way through the game, of course. Personally, I felt that uh, even though I'm not in any imminent hope of them releasing the game, they've certainly made things better for me. Uh, you can see the frame rates in the upper right hand corner, and it's performing a lot better than it used to. And uh, even in the Persistent Universe, so I'm reasonably pleased by that. Uh, there are a lot of bugs that still need to be fixed. Ooh, I'm going a little bit far there. Okay, managed to make it there. That's a tough turn. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, there's progress, but then they really need to work on the economy and missions, and um, as I understand it, the battle flight model is not particularly good. We'll see some of that later on, but it's tough to judge in the Aurora. So there, my lap in the Merlin was about the same as in the Aurora. Uh, which should not be the case. I need more practice just in general. So here we are with the Aurora in the Vandal Swarm mode where you're basically doing PvE, um, attacking AI enemies in waves. There are a total of nine waves. I don't have the patience for all nine waves, especially in the Aurora, which uh, basically has pea shooters up front. Again, one reason why I want to upgrade it to do missions in the Persistent Universe that involve more shooting. 
Uh, right now, I have no confidence that the Aurora can do anything, uh, pick up any missions in the Persistent Universe that involve shooting. So, yeah, and you'll see why in a moment. But uh, it does have some positives. The Aurora, you know, has a very good view up front because you can look below your view as well. Most ships have that part obstructed. So I do like that aspect of it. And there is a sort of uh, roguish feel to it compared to the sleek fighters. So this is basically how combat is with uh, PvE. And as uh, they don't seem to shoot me a whole lot unless they're about to die, which isn't very efficient of them, but uh, that seems to be the case, at least in my brief foray into the Vandal Swarm stuff. I tried to get a Battle Royale game, which is uh, multiplayer PB PvP, uh, but there wasn't anybody there, so I couldn't get a game. That might be because of my choice of ship, because not a whole lot of people play Auroras, and I don't know if they're matching, like, ship capabilities or something. If they are matching ship capabilities, it probably wouldn't have found somebody else. But, uh, it, again, Arena Commander used to be a lot more popular, and it's sort of important uh, to do battle testing, right? As a means of battle testing. It's important that people play it and give feedback, but I don't know. Once I get a ship properly capable of doing battle, I'll certainly try and give some feedback, but uh, this is not the one. Uh, the Merlin is actually a little bit better, we'll see that in a moment, but uh, this takes forever to kill anything. My first kill took like four minutes. Uh, on the other hand, that does remind me a lot of Wing Commander. <laughs> and. Uh, in the harder modes of uh, Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, which is sort of Wing Commander inspired. I do have Rebel Galaxy Outlaw as well, um, which strongly reminds me of Wing Commander. Wing Commander being uh, Chris Roberts' old game for which he is very famous, which is why people give him money to make a new game. Also, there was Freelancer, which was really nice. I enjoyed Freelancer a lot. Anyway, so yeah, but the, the fighting is a bit tedious in this, that's for sure. I like the damage model, you know, little bits get chopped off of the bad guys. He's lost a bit of himself. One wing, I suppose. It's very... the battle is very Wing Commander-esque. Very close in, as they want. They want a dog fighting. Obviously, it's not a realistic space battle of any kind, which would probably be conducted by drones, among other things. We don't really want a realistic space battle. It'll be long range, you don't see anybody, and it'll probably be completely automated. And I ran out of ammo right there. And I got this odd audio issue. And that may be because of a... And I, I decided to end that in the most practical way. Um, maybe that's because of a control I have that was... Because uh, I have... A, bunch of controllers that was parented to something that was supposed to do something at that point? I don't know. I've had that problem, before, that sound problem before when uh, something is, uh, one of the axes is parented to something that's activated at that point. Otherwise I don't have any hypothesis about that sound. But it does happen when I run out of ammo, that's all I know. Also you might have noticed earlier I had used a missile. I had two missiles on board the Aurora. And they're pretty effective, as far as I can tell. Now, the Merlin here, the Merlin does a lot of damage on each shot, you notice. Whereas the Aurora did like one or two damage, just seems to uh, do it in chunks of four and five. But, it gets damaged itself a lot. It doesn't seem to have particularly strong shields. And worse, it's got that glare. Um, right now, it's fine. I can see the enemy. But once I catch a bit of sunlight on the really, really shiny body... The glare makes it impossible to see the bad guy. So I had a lot of trouble with that. So from that aspect, the Merlin is a little bit difficult to fight in, but at least its shots do damage compared to the Aurora. Now I don't know what happened with me getting charred right there. I seem to have shields up. So yeah, but I definitely got charred and there's some damage on my ship now. Some serious damage. It looks good actually. But anyway, so this was a little foray into Alpha 3.6. As I understand it, they've got the 
Alpha 3.7 in the test universe, and that adds a whole bunch of stuff. I'm looking forward to exploring cities in Alpha 3.7. I understand there are also caves for some reason. So, yeah. I don't know why there are caves. I didn't think caves would be a priority, but there's also some form of mining, so I guess that's why there are caves. I think somebody involved in Star Citizen played some Master Nier or something. Anyway, uh, so we'll look forward to that and I'll see what I end up uh, doing in Alpha 3.7 with the Mustang Alpha. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.